welcome back for yet another exciting YouTube tutorial. However, this one is not going to show you anything with C Sharp, but it's going to help you understand, I hope, what loops do. And you can see I have iTunes up, and we're going to go to there in a minute. But remember, a loop is a mechanism or a coding structure that allows you to repeat a piece of code over and over and over again for a desired result. Examples would be, think of you're in line at CVS and the cashier has six people in line. And you patiently wait in line as the cashier rings up the people in front of you. And when that person is done, they leave and the next person moves forward to the cash register. She keeps processing people until there's no more. Another example of a loop would be for payments. Payments on a car for 60 months, payments on a mortgage for 15, 20, or 30 years. Also, say I had to process all the people that are graduating as a department chair at SCCC. I would have to start with the first person and keep processing each of their paperwork until all of them have been completed. It's not just, loops are not just used for programs iTunes and music of today uses computers to help edit, record, and produce music and actually sell and distribute. I'm going to play a song for you by the artist Kim Sozi that came out about 2008 and it's called Feel Your Love. It was all computer generated with synthesizers and computer sampling. And you're going to, I'm going to play a quick segment for you and in this loop you're going to hear the same beat and riff played over and over and over again. And that is because the programmer of the synthesizer told it to loop this segment for the song. So here we go. You may not like it, but I want you to hear the synthesizer play the same piece over and over and over again. Here we go. As you can hear, it repeats and repeats and repeats. In addition, the bass synthesizer is repeating, as you hear right here. So you could hear the synthesizer playing over and over and over again. That's called a loop in Pro Tools and in recording. And then you could hear the bass and the drums um, going at the end. I hope this helps you understand how loops can be used in all aspects of computer.